Do you want to learn a language? Does doing it the proper way take too much time? Introducing the Polyglot Language Learning Method. With the Polyglot Language Learning Method, you will be able to learn a language to absolute fluency in just 30 days. Guaranteed. No catch. All you're going to need is a credit card and four installments of $249.99. Call now to purchase your program. This satisfied customer learned Mandarin in just 30 days with the Polyglot Language Learning Method. An absolute triumph! Let's also hear from this satisfied customer. Avec ce méthode, j'ai appris cette langue et je les parle couramment. You do? David Dad. Ja, nur hablo inglés. What's going on? Hilf mir. Ich kann nicht mehr arbeiten. Ich kann nicht mehr Englisch sprechen. Es ist ein großes Problem. Haha! <laughs> I don't know if I want it anymore. Nonsense! It'll work great for you! I don't know. Taskete, kurwa kwa supiru. Yamete, yamete, mo puri grutto metodo wa yabai! Boku no seikazu, kaishite kudasai! I'm going to leave now. I'm sorry, Susu. I cannot allow that. From now on, it's French or French! French or wrench this! Uh, at least we still have one. Never. You're never getting out of here until you speak every language except English. <laughs> the polyglot language learning method. You'll never speak English ever again. Call now today. Obviously, there's little to no risk of that happening in real life. Hope not. Hope not. So, as you may already know, I recently challenged myself to learn as much Spanish as I could in 30 days, which I documented in my award-winning shorts series, which you'll be able to find under the eye. In those 30 days, I made some decent progress, but obviously, you can't become fluent in a language in just 30 days. So, if you want to figure out just how much progress I made, please stay tuned to the end of the video. For me, this 30-day challenge was a refresher on learning a new language, as I've already studied a fair number of languages. My language journey has been like this. <laughs> so I want to give some advice to you who may be interested in learning a new language and especially you who recently just started learning a new language. You started learning English such a long time ago. It's a little bit different getting used to learning a whole new language from scratch again, isn't it? Yeah, but I do feel like there's some similarities. That gives me a, a bit of an advantage. Of course, of course. And learning a language is kind of like going to the gym. The more you learn different languages, the more rounded you are as a language learner. So, the big three things that you'll need for learning a language is motivation, resources, and time. So, Susu, why don't you tell us a little bit about what language you're learning and why? I'm currently learning French. During high school, I actually took one semester of French, but at the time, it wasn't a strong impression. But then I think because of knowing you as a strong like language enthusiast, after we traveled to Europe, I do feel like learning the language is a big step to get to know a culture. And then of course we love French wine and cheese. And then last but not least, we're hoping to move to Europe within five years. But then you know, it's just like a long process before you commit to doing something. There's a lot of like struggle and battles. Like, oh, I'm not sure if I have, can make the time. I'm not sure if I'm dedicated. But like just like once you started, like, okay, I'm gonna do it. It's much easier. And then now it's my third week of learning the French. I definitely feel like I've been keeping up the progress and then feeling very confident. Every day. Is that bien? Bien. So I find it interesting how you touched on struggling with getting started as one of the big stumbling blocks to learning a language. And I think that's the, true for a lot of people learning a language or a lot of people just doing things in general. That's true. It's hard to get started. And especially with learning a language, you're like, where do I start? What do I do? This looks really hard. I don't know if I can do this. And it takes a while to get started. But of course, starting is the first step. So. You're right on your way. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you. Now that you have your motivation, let's talk a little bit about what resources you should be using and how to evaluate if your resource is a good resource. We will also share some general like tips or like apps that we've been using or website and hopefully that can be a good starting point for you for getting to know a language. So why don't we start with what have you been using to learn French? So I definitely know there's a lot of apps online. Duolingo is the big one and I think you also recommend like Link. 
So that's an app that has a lot of like reading. Another one is that italki. It has a lot of online courses on mm. that app. Hashtag not sponsored. But for me, it's really important to be surrounded by that learning environment. So I sign up for an in-person class. So you've touched on a couple of really good resources to have. In-person classes are fantastic for both your motivation and to make you stick with learning the language. But they're not always available where you might be, so italki or other tutor apps like that are very useful as well. For self-study, I recommend using an app such as Duolingo, Babbel, Lingo Deer. There are a lot of different apps online that you can use to study a language. I also recommend getting as much input as you can, so that's where stuff like Link comes into play. If you don't have access to Link, you can always make do with websites in the foreign language, plus a dictionary. I recommend Lingui. The last thing I recommend is doing a lot of listening. Music is a really good way to listen if you are just starting to learn a language and you don't necessarily understand everything, because music will give you a feel of the language, but it'll also be engaging and keep your interest. And the last thing I'll recommend is podcasts. I think podcasts are fantastic because it's natural speech or it can be instructional as well. All right, and now you might be asking, how do I evaluate if a resource is right for me? And to do that, you should ask yourself three questions. Is it level appropriate? Does it fit your needs and goals? And is it enjoyable? Let's start with level appropriate. So if you're reading something, ideally there should be no more than about five words you don't know per page. That can be a little bit difficult at the beginning, but as you advance, it's a really good way to start picking up on new vocabulary without feeling frustrated or demotivated. Next, does it fit your needs? Do you have a specific goal with your language? If you're trying to be a doctor in English, it's not going to do a lot of good reading children's nursery rhymes, unless maybe you're a pediatrician. Lastly, is it enjoyable? If you're using a really boring, uninteresting resource that happens to be level appropriate and also fit your needs, you're not going to learn very much from it if you're not enjoying the process. Which is one thing that I think Duolingo does very well, they gamify it, so it's pretty enjoyable to learn a language that way. Last but not least, I think it's really important to give yourself time, patience, and dedication to learning a new language. So time put in is going to be the biggest factor in how high your language level will be. A lot of languages will require less time if they're more similar to your native language, and languages will require more time if they are less similar to your native language. Yeah, just like when I first start learning English, it will be very difficult because it's very different from my native language Chinese. But then now I'm starting French, I feel like it's easier because it's similar to English. And then as for the time commitment, I feel like you need to do it every day to get yourself uh, refreshed and then solidified all those new words. Exactly, yeah. Research has shown if you're learning a little bit every day, that's better than if you're learning a lot in one day and then you don't touch it for a week. And now, some breaking news from Susu Poo. I think I will definitely provide periodic updates on my French learning journey because all the resources I've been saying, it's only the ones that I've been using for now as a beginner. And I have only started for three weeks in my French learning journey. Even though I've been keeping up with all the updates and then the progress every day, I feel like my method may change over time. And then this is also a long time journey for me, it's a long term goal to get to a very fluent level. So I will keep you guys posted on any of the other methods I found would be more effective. So stay tuned to that. Last but not least, Trevor has done some Spanish tests to wrap it up his 30 day learning journey. Let's see how my Spanish improved over these 30 days. <laughs> So let's start this off by getting a baseline of my Spanish level. So I found a Spanish quiz online, which I'm going to do now, and we'll see what it tells me about my Spanish level coming in. So, preliminary answer, I got 11 out of 40 correct. We shall see how I improve over these 30 days. All right, let's see just how far I progressed in these 30 days. I'm going to take the test now and we'll see how it goes. All right, I got 19 out of 40. I felt like I understood better what was going on, but I didn't feel like I necessarily knew which one should go in the blank. I'll have to compare with how I did before, but I don't think it's necessarily better even though my Spanish definitely has improved. Hello, future Trevor here. I'm going over the footage and it turns out I did a fair amount better in the second test than I did in the first test. I got 19 versus 11, which is almost 100% improvement. 
I think that's pretty decent for 30 days, even though it also shows that you don't know everything about a language after just 30 days of study. But I'm pretty satisfied with the results from that. Thank you for joining us today. We would love to hear about your language learning journey in the comments below. Do you want to share your successes, some struggles? We'd love to hear all of that. Yeah, and then hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.